Hey YouTube, it's JP Dillon. Finally getting back into this RCA Victor. And uh, this is kind of a preface to the, the rest of the short video of what I eventually found. And I haven't been on this thing for months because it was just frustrating me and I was ready to smash it with a hammer. Uh, but long story short, which you'll see in the video, the problem with the sound got resolved. And it was a matter of taking my time and looking at it logically rather than trying to rush through it. Uh, because most of the time, because I have such a heavy workload, i am pretty much been programmed to, you know, do the best you can to get as much stuff done you can, and in a lot of time you can. And if everything is straightforward, that works out. But when you have a really puzzling problem that keeps you chasing your tail for a long time, you get really frustrated, and then you can't think straight. And that was the problem with this, is I wasn't thinking straight. Because once I saw the issue, I immediately was able to resolve it. And I was literally able to fix the entire problem in a half hour. Whereas previously, I had spent hours on this thing trying to figure out what was wrong. Lots of time investment and all for something pretty straightforward. Which if I had just stopped and took a look at it, uh, I would have fixed it straight away. So... Let that be a lesson. I know there's a lot of my tech friends out there are like, you know, spinning their wheels on shit. And I just tell them, step back from it for a while. Uh, come at it fresh. You'll see something that you didn't see before. And that was the case with me, and i got to eat my words on this one. But anyways, here's the uh, rest of the short video that uh, pretty shows what I found and uh, how I got the sound working again. Hey YouTube, it's JP Dillon. So we're finally getting back into this RCA, and I've got to admit that uh, I've been playing the stupid card here because there was something staring at my staring at me that was blatantly obvious uh, that was causing this whole sound issue. Uh, actually, two things. Let me show you what they were. The first thing was this peaking coil right here. Now I have fixed it. But the tiny little wire that's right there that I've reattached was broken free. And the glue that was holding the tube on had let loose. And so that was allowing the wire to get pulled on and yanked. So I reattached that. And then I tried to dial in the sound. And I found that the core inside of this guy you can see is nice and broken. So I had to spray some penetrating lube in there. Heated a little bit, just enough to where I could get it to turn, and then I peaked the sound level with that. Then I noticed that this detector can uh, was very vibration sensitive. If I moved it any way or the other, it was cutting out. So I went on the back side and re-soldered everything, and then I did the sound alignment, and that actually made it work. So... Hours and hours of chasing this when I just slowed down a little bit and I looked at it logically and then found the issues. So let's hook it up and you can see it run. You know, sometimes it's just a lack of patience that really is the difference between you fixing it and not. And I keep trying to tell myself, if you get frustrated, you need to back off it and come at it at another time. And thankfully, I did with this one. And uh, that was all the difference. You can see now we got nice, clear sound. I took care of the width problem, readjusted the width and linearity. That was easy peasy. Now I'm interrupting the signal, so that's why it looks like garbage. Not slight, the spitting image. Tim, I'd appreciate it if you'd please find another... And it's going to blank out here because, well... Oh, yeah, well, I'm sorry, Uncle Martin, but you should have seen this character. He was really... I gave the CRT another love tap on this, and it, it's pretty much stuck so far, so... I've got a backup if I need it. The bongos? Yeah. And the name of the restaurant you were at, was it... And I got a little bit of vertical twitch up here. Uh, it goes away after after it warms up a bit. But uh, yeah, what a pain! Now if I tap on this, 
sound doesn't drop out, whereas before I could do that and it would just freak out. His subconscious brain and body materializes the moment he falls asleep. It goes off on its own, seeking relaxation. You, you mean every time you go to sleep, uh, he, it, he goes out, has a ball? On Mars, all work and no play makes Jack a playboy. Well, don't look so worried about it, Uncle Martin. Nice Let's sharp picture on this. So again, to recap, I noticed that I couldn't get in enough 4.5 megahertz uh, at the detector tube here, which was due to the core being busted and somebody messing with it. So once I got that freed up and turned, I peaked that, and then I discovered that I couldn't align this because every time I would touch it, it would change. There were bad solders on the board that looked okay. They looked okay. But when I flowed new solder in it, the problem went away. And I can tap on it and the sound still stays there. So once I got the clarity aligned with the detector, then A10 here, I peaked it for the highest output. And that made it so that it, it played clearly. So I'm going to put it back together and let it run in the shop for a while just to have fun with it, see if anything else goes wrong with it. But nominally, this thing's happy. Yeah, I got a little bit of vertical bowing here at the top. I think the centering magnets on the CRT need to be adjusted a bit. Not a bad picture though. Just a little more tweaking to do and we should be good to go. We got rewind now, we didn't have that before. Alright. Well, I'm just going to let this play out for a while and see if any more problems show up. Do some tweaks on the vertical and call it done. But uh, yeah. Anyways. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed the series. I know it was kind of boring chasing my tail around a whole bunch of times before I actually found out what was wrong. But, found out what was wrong and fixed it, so that's a good thing. Anyways, thanks for watching. More stuff to come.